Welcome to this 3-Minute Thursday video. As the name suggests, our plan is to provide 3-Minute tips each Thursday of the semester. These videos are designed to give you quick, helpful tips to improve your teaching experience. For this Thursday's 3-Minute tip, we will talk about creating a course welcome. A course welcome is a big part of setting the tone for the semester. It can combine an introduction, an orientation to the layout of the course and expectations, and begin to build community. A course welcome is an important part of an online course to help students deal with anxiety in a new environment. It is important to give an introduction of yourself and your teaching philosophy. Include a picture, as your students may never see you in person. Make sure you are crystal clear about the best way to get a hold of you. Give them an overview of the course and what to expect, and walk them through the first steps to get started in the class. It's important to give students a chance to get to know you and each other. Minimally, you should post a picture of yourself, but consider also doing an introduction video or writing a paragraph about you to the level that you feel comfortable sharing and that you would like your students to mirror when they introduce themselves. A course overview can be a review of the syllabus and the most important points you want students to be aware of. Consider a video in which you walk students through the organization of the course and what they can expect each week. This can really reduce the cognitive load for students entering multiple online courses. It is still a good idea to send an introduction email to your students outside of Canvas, but that email can be replicated and enhanced in Canvas too. You can use the Canvas inbox to send emails, you can create a home page, and you can use announcements. Duplication is okay here, we just want to make sure students get an orientation to your course. The benefit to building this content in Canvas is that you can also add videos and discussions and divide the information over several pages so that it is in bite-sized chunks. This can help you highlight the most important parts of your syllabus. Consider creating a Getting Started module in which you outline everything you want students to know as they begin your course. These are examples of things you can include in a Getting Started module, but feel free to adapt to fit your course. We hope this Thursday 3-minute tip has been helpful and we encourage you to share it with others. Please contact us with questions to schedule a consultation or to share ideas for future videos. The best way to reach us is through our shared email account at gcid at ksu.edu. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for spending 3 minutes with us today.